my husband and myself was in a wreck at mile 65. Okay. And the other car hit us and slammed me all the way across the truck. I literally hit my husband hmm. uh, on the driver's side, and our insurance company told us it was their fault. And then three days later, the same lady told us it was their fault. It was not their fault. It was our fault. And uh, I was left out of the wreck. It went wrote down as we was in a in a car, not in a truck. The police report was wrong. Right. Uh, and they sued our insurance for $100,000. We had no say-so. And the same lady that was supposed to have been representing us started representing the people from out of Texas, and we never heard from them again. And it's been a year now, and I'm still having breathing problems. And they literally left me out of the wreck. Is there anything that I can do? Is this an insurance adjuster you're talking to, or who you're? To, who yes, you're... ma'am. The insurance okay. adjuster was was supposed to have been helping me with my insurance. Right. And okay. Pat, but then, Pat, were were you the driver or a passenger in the car? I was a passenger. My husband okay. was husband driving. Was driving. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, what would you recommend well, to Pat? Well, Pat, clearly. Uh, yeah, you, know, you get a copy of the action report. It's not unusual; those things can be wrong, uh, but that's not the end of the road. Uh, if the action report has mistakes in it, but it was, if it happened a year ago, you still have time to to get somebody to look into that. You would need to get to a lawyer as soon as possible because, you, as we say every time I'm on this show, uh, a lot of times your case is all the time. Your case is going to depend on the facts of a certain uh, uh, situation. So in this case, just because one party claims this happened or that happened, that's not unusual. Um, your adjuster, I, I'm not sure what it or what you meant by the fact that she's representing them now, but I'm not even really too concerned about what your adjuster has to say, to be honest with you. I don't put a lot of stock into what those people say. I would just look as an attorney, I would look at the case, talk to you and your husband, find out factually how this thing happened, and then go from there. Yep. Uh, they don't have to to get your permission, obviously, to bring a suit against you, whoever these other people are, uh, if they're from Texas. But uh, don't let that, uh, again, anything an adjuster tells you convince yeah. you one way or the other. Get to a lawyer because, again, I, I don't care if they're your insurance company. That doesn't mean you've got the smartest tool in the shed looking at the case <laughs> for you. And, in fact, uh, we deal with them all the time, and there's some really good adjusters out there. Uh, and there's some really bad adjusters out there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these companies now are farming their Alabama cases out to adjusters in California, Texas, wherever else. They don't know what the law is here. Mm -hmm. They're not familiar with it. It's clear when we as attorneys talk to them. Now, they'll tell you and they'll talk to you like they are convinced that this is the right thing, and they're just flat out wrong. Yeah, right. so, so what, what they say is the final no, word. No, oh, good yeah. Lord, no. Yeah. No, no, well, that's why you have to... It's, you, you got to fight for it. No, and that's why we're in business, because they don't do the right if, thing. If they did and the right thing, we wouldn't have a job. Yeah. We wouldn't have a <laughs> practice. So that's right. It's, uh, so definitely, Pat, talk to a lawyer yeah. and, and, and look at those and, and get them to look at the circumstances for you.